the story of Lot became well known in the Bible mainly because of his involvement with the city of Sodom, which was destroyed by God because of its many sins. Lot was the son of Haran, the brother of Abraham, and therefore, was the nephew of the great patriarch of Israel. In this video, you will learn everything that the Bible says about who Lot was. So, if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, subscribe now. The origin and meaning of the name Lot are uncertain, but some scholars suggest that it may convey the sense of a veil that covers. The Bible says that after the death of his father, Lot left the city of Ur of the Chaldeans and went towards the city of Haran, along with his grandfather Terah, his uncle Abram, and Sarai. Later, when Abram left Haran after Terah's death, Lot followed him towards Canaan. Subsequently, when there was a great famine in the land of Canaan, Lot went down to Egypt with Abram. After Pharaoh discovered that he had been deceived by Abram and Sarai, Abram's company was expelled from Egypt, and Lot returned with the patriarch to Canaan. However, during this time, Abram prospered greatly, and it seems that Lot also prospered. As a result, the flocks of Lot and Abram increased so much that the region where they were could no longer accommodate both of them living together, which eventually led to disputes between the shepherds of Lot and the shepherds of Abram. So, Abram and Lot separated, and on the occasion of the separation, Abram generously allowed Lot to choose first the land he would occupy. That's when Lot chose the green plains of the Jordan, towards the Dead Sea, near Sodom. After parting ways with Abraham, Lot headed towards Sodom and it appears that he quickly became involved with the affairs of the city. In fact, it seems that Lot occupied a prominent social position in Sodom, as when the angels of the Lord went to Sodom, Lot was sitting at the city gate. In ancient times, the most respected members of a city gathered at its gate to resolve legal matters. But the people of that city were extremely wicked. The Bible says that the men of Sodom were evil and great sinners against the Lord. According to the New Testament biblical text, Lot was deeply distressed every day because of the blatant wickedness practiced by the inhabitants of that city. See what the Apostle Peter wrote about him. And delivered just Lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. For that righteous man dwelling among them, in seeing and hearing, vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds winky face. While Lot was in Sodom, there was also a battle in which a group of kings from Mesopotamia defeated the kings of the cities of Sodom, Gomorrah, Adma, Zeboim, and Zor. On that occasion, all the goods of Sodom were taken, and many of its inhabitants were taken captive. Lot was no exception. His goods were captured among the spoils of the battle, and he was taken captive. When Abraham was notified of what had happened, he prepared a troop of men who, in a night battle, managed to defeat the enemy army. Thus, Lot, his household, and his goods were recovered. In fact, it was in this episode that Abraham met Melchizedek. This war involving Sodom did not keep Lot away from the city. So, Lot reappears in the biblical narrative when God decided to destroy the cities of the plain, including Sodom and Gomorrah. The Bible says that before God destroyed Sodom, Lot and his family were rescued by two angels sent by the Lord. This deliverance happened by God's grace and mercy, and because of his covenant commitment to Abraham. The Bible says that God remembered Abraham and brought Lot out of the ruins of Sodom. The way the men of Sodom received the Lord's angels shows the depravity that brought divine judgment upon that city. The men of Sodom wanted to have sexual relations with the angels who were there in human form. It is also worth noting Lot's terrible attempt to pacify the situation by offering his own daughters to those men. This attitude demonstrated Lot's weakness and the harmful effects of that city on him. 
as the men of Sodom did not back down in their attempt to seize the angels who were in Lot's house, they were struck with a type of blindness, and Lot was ordered to take his entire family out of the city that would be destroyed. Unfortunately, Lot proved resistant to leaving Sodom. In fact, it took the angels taking Lot by the hand and putting his family out of the city. Lot's family was also warned not to look back during the escape from Sodom, but Lot's wife disobeyed that order and was turned into a pillar of salt. After leaving Sodom, Lot and his two daughters went to a small city. For some reason, Lot was afraid to continue living in that city and went with his daughters to a cave in a mountainous region. And it was there that something disastrous happened. Lot's daughters got him drunk and slept with him, resulting in their incestuous pregnancies. From these relationships, Moab and ben Ami were born. The former was the ancestor of the Moabites, while the latter was the ancestor of the Ammonites. These two peoples caused many problems for the Israelites in the rest of biblical history. In addition to references in the book of Genesis, Lot is rarely mentioned in the Bible. In the Old Testament, his name appears only twice in reference to his descendants, in the expression sons of Lot. In the New Testament, Jesus mentioned Lot in the Gospel of Luke in a passage with eschatological emphasis, where the Lord reminded of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah and Lot's deliverance. Likewise also as it was in the days of Lot, they did eat, they drank, they bought, they sold, they planted, they builded. But the same day that Lot went out of Sodom it rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and destroyed them all. Even thus shall it be in the day when the Son of Man is revealed. In that day, he which shall be upon the housetop, and his stuff in the house, let him not come down to take it away, and he that is in the field, let him likewise not return back. Remember Lot's wife. As we have already mentioned in this video, the Apostle Peter also mentioned Lot in his second epistle, in chapter 2, verses 7 and 8, in another reference to the episode of the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah. After everything that happened in Sodom, and the terrible relationship with his daughters in the sequence of the story, nothing more is known about Lot. It is not possible to know if he was able to rebuild his life or if he ended his days in that cave in the mountains. But the biblical text shows us that Lot was a man who had the opportunity to learn from Abraham, the father of faith. Lot was a man who himself was a living proof of the Lord's provision and was called righteous by the Apostle Peter. Even so, Lot ended up having a pathetic end. Unlike his uncle Abraham, Lot was not guided by faith, but by his own sight, and his human eyes led him to Sodom a city that afflicted him and left deep scars on his family.